Hello and welcome back. So nice to see you all again. Today we're gonna finally start the burning. I feel like I've been putting this off for way too long. I've been trying to come up with some cool picture of some sort of animal or dragon or something to paint, but I just don't have the inspiration at this moment to do something like that. It's what I think is most fun when it comes to wood burning, but um, I don't know, I just don't have it right now. Maybe it's because that's what I need to have and therefore I don't have it. But anyway, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do some weird squiggly line thing and see how how much um, details and fun things we can just go from there. So we're just gonna freeform everything and just go through it. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna first draw out with a regular pen some lines because I can erase them with an eraser and I can move them and everything like that. So that's easiest to just do that first. Now if you want to do something like this, wood burning, I'm using a actually wood burning pen called a pyrographic pen. And um, that's like awesome and you can and that's really good because you have all these different tips that you can switch out for shading and making sharp lines and doing weird marks and things and stuff. But you can also use your regular starting iron. It's not as good, but you can get some really nice results with that. But since I have this one, I'm gonna use this one. But don't think that you can't do this with the soldering iron. It just, it takes more time. It's a little bit harder, but it's not like impossible. And also these are like maybe around 40 bucks, which is, I don't know, if you plan on doing a lot of wood burning and maybe wood burning guitars, um, I think that's a good investment. Like always, always buy the most expensive tool you can afford, basically. So we're just gonna get started with first drawing some lines and trying to come up with something that looks neat. And then we're gonna burn some, some of those lines in and then we're gonna continue burning other lines in. So yeah, we're just basically gonna put down a layer and then a layer and then a layer and then a layer. So stick around. <laughs> Thank you. 
now we're back and I've drawn a bunch of squiggly lines all over the guitar and now I have to start making more details so it isn't just squiggly lines basically and since I'm sort of freestyling I don't really have an idea of what I'm doing but I think adding some leaves to this is going to be fun or at least look interesting so I'm going to start off by just trying to draw some in and we'll see how it turns out my idea right now is to add them in and make some really big and some really small and just fill up some of the space with different sizes and all you know and then uh, try to match the color of them with the picard to make everything look sort of uniformed and nice and like you know like I meant for it to look that way which is you know always a plus if you don't know what you're doing at least try to fake that you know what you're doing so that people think that you know what you're doing even though you don't I hope that makes sense to you all um, you know basically fake it till you make it that's what I'm trying to do so now I'm just gonna start drawing them in and then I'm gonna burn them in and I'll go in between drawing them in and burning them in and drawing them in and burning them in and I'm gonna go through the entire guitar I've burned these squiggly lines throughout the body and up the neck so yeah cool beans or something I don't remember what it is Ben says but something like that guitar here's the front and and here is the back and now I'm gonna continue up the neck see you in a bit I've made all these nice little leaves all over it's on the front 
and it's on the back and it goes up the neck and we have a little doodle on the 12th thread as well. Um, the next step is... Well, the next step I think that I'm going to do is... I think I'm going to color in all these leaves with a color that matches this one. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to get it perfectly f the same, but I will try. It's not the same kind of wood, but I will do my best. I want to thank all the nice people who have left awesome comments. You guys are really awesome. Um, and uh, it's really nice, especially in the last video where I actually was feeling a little bit blue for making mistakes. But I feel like now that I've done this, everything is coming together nicely. So thank you all very much for the nice comments and thank you for watching and keep on being awesome. You're doing a good job at that. Bye-bye.